Hey gang, Dr. H here. Um, what is this, the 29th of July, so about two weeks out. I'm gonna go through my list here real quick. I wanna, I tr I'm gonna try to make this a short video. So, um, get in shape, get your body moving. I'm not expecting you to do wind sprints, run a half marathon, but get that cardio up a little bit. Musicians, make sure we're looking at segment one and two. I know the drumline folks don't know 100% what they're going to be doing, but just get comfortable with segments one and two. Honors folks, especially the new folks. Um, I know that there's this honors program that takes place. This happens every year. It's all good. There will be things you will be missing connected with the honors program. It'll be the fun activity stuff is you're with me, but the, but the very official important stuff, You'll be with them. I've already been in contact with the honors folks. More details to come on that. Um, so we're meeting at three o'clock. This is for everyone, especially the vets. We're meeting Sunday the 15th at three o'clock, but it's a different location. We're in the main entrance of Haas as if you're going to go into the big auditorium. So for you new folks, this is the kind of the middle part. It's on the side. It faces this new little water fountain thing on the side of Haas, bunch of double doors, kind of like a little peak zigzag entranceway, but it doesn't sit on top right next to a parking lot. It's below that. Side entrance, we'll put a big sign out that says, you know, band camp here kind of thing. So that's our thing for three o'clock. Try to get there early if you can, because uh, we're going to check everybody in. We're going to deal with meal cards, all that kind of stuff. Baritone players, tuba players, mellophones. We're going to be handing out instruments, tenor saxes. Um, I said this in an earlier email, but I know I have a bunch of new people here. September 11th, we have a tentative gig right in town. Logistically very easy. This actually takes place before our first official performance, so it'll be a good dry run. For band camp itself, and I'm a real stickler on this stuff, so hats. Um, sunscreen, or what I like to call sun goo, um, water, make sure, now I have some people that have like a little cooler and they have their own individual water bottles that they go through, fine. Or, you know, get that water bottle, you know, that's about yay big. We do have access to water all day up at the stadium, but, um, you know, we do take water breaks, but they are not five minute water breaks. They're quick. Um, rain jackets, because if it rains, that doesn't mean we cancel. If it's thunder and lightning, that means we go inside somewhere. But make sure you have rain jackets handy. And then sneakers, no flip-flops, no sandals for everyone. Sneakers. Musicians, all people playing a musical instrument. Three-ring binder. Page protectors, all your parts, warm-ups, all that kind of stuff. Everybody on the field needs to have this dot book, which I've talked about before, which is like a three by five or a five by seven spiral notebook that we never tear anything out of it. But we're going to talk you guys through this um, on Sunday. But you write in your coordinates for for your drill moves in, into your dot book. Everybody has has their own dot book. Um, black marching shoes for all musicians. The color guard folks, you guys are going to talk with, with Alex about that. Um, we kind of keep it pretty straight ahead, so don't, don't freak out on me. But the, the musicians, pit, drumline, all wins. Um, black shoes, they do not have to be dinkles. They can just, they can kind of look like, you know, um, they couldn't look like dinkles. I know dinkles are expensive. But the key thing they can't be is super glossy, that high gloss look that I know some high school bands use. Uh-uh. They're black, but they are not glossy, but they can, you know, rubber sold, not leather sold. But you can get them real inexpensive, like 10, 15 bucks at Walmart or Kmart or something, just a low, you know, basic shoe. It does, you know, I don't want high boots. That's not going to work either. Um, and then the last thing is when you guys, you know, I've been putting a bunch of the new folks, I've been adding this, the band into your schedule, but I still have about 14, 15 of you that are listed under music 17401. 
you are allowed to be in that. That's fine. Just realize section 01, you do not get fitness credit for the class. It's non, it's a non-credit section. People go into 01 because they already have 18 credits in academic classes and they don't want to pay. We aren't going to make you guys pay for the extra credit. Fine. But a vast majority of you are already in 174, but dollars to donuts, I got a handful of these 17401s that think they're getting credit for it. Now, the good news is we have until the end of band camp to get this all fixed. So, all right, there you go. Email me if you have any questions. All drumline and wind players should have parts, should have an exercise page or two. Um, so, because you know, some of these new folks, I may have missed catching you guys up. So, so don't be afraid to email me. Okay, there you go. See ya.